This episode of Pod Fiction is brought to you by Limitless Pond, Sudbury's friendliest pawn shop. Why not stop in and say hello at 1142 LaSalle Boulevard in the city of Greater Sudbury? Now don't touch that dial, we'll be right back. Traveling through space until a meteor came out of nowhere and boom! Yep, that's right, the ship started to crash and they went to Earth. Luckily, the friends were there too. Pod Fiction! Gentlemen, welcome back to Pod Fiction. Yeah, I said it. Welcome back to Pod Fiction, the show. Where we're yeah, po- boy, you really said it. <laughs> I told, I told him. I told him so good. Uh, we're back here today playing Demon's Crest with you know who. Me, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yo, everyone, how's it going? How's your mom's today? If you don't have a mom, how's your dad? You don't have a dad? Fucking, I'm sorry. Uh, your life must be really sad, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> he, here's looking at you, kid. I re- you know, I re- how about this? I hope all your dogs and all your cats and all your various other pets are doing great. I hope so. I hope we got somebody special in your life that treats yeah. you nice. Treats you real nice. If it's not your mom or your dad or your pets, then I hope it's you. I hope go, you treat you nice. Go out and buy yourself a nice little treat on Pod Fiction. Don't bill it to Pod Fiction. <laughs> Footage not found. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Like, there's a few episodes of uh, Arrested Development yeah. where they like try to reflect on it. It's just a white screen for like a second. <laughs> like they don't, they don't even call upon that. There's no memory there. Exactly. It'd be like the one time that Lucille was nice or something. That's exactly <laughs> the one I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah, and it's just blank. Yeah. Oh fuck! I watched the. One, I I've just been watching it again, and it's such. I, I love that show. <sighs> I w- I'm gonna rewatch it at some point. Like it's been a few years. It's so good. This is the third time I've watched it, like <gasps> all the way through. I've definitely watched it at least three times. So worth it. Uh, and an herb. Why as well? Get an herb over here. So okay. sweet. We got we got enough health till the apocalypse. A- apocalypse. Are we gonna be causing the apocalypse in this game? See, that's the thing. I always thought this game had a cool plot because I, if you guys remember, I'm pretty sure I showed it in the beginning, the the intro cutscene. And if I didn't, here you go. Uh, our our main character, uh, Firebrand, traveled the world, uh, the demon realm, to try and find all the crests to obtain unlimited power to rule. Um, but then Phalanx, the main bad guy of the game, uh, showed up. Where am I going here? I went. I I was just in the right spot and I left it. Uh, Phalanx shows up when we're fighting a big dragon who has the last crest and just fucking takes them all. And for some reason doesn't take over the realm, but gives them to his general, uh, who we've been fighting throughout the game. And, uh, yeah, then our job is to, like, go back and get... But it's cool because when you... The first fight you do is you're fighting that dragon that you almost killed. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's what that is. Yeah. That's super cool. Oh, also, hey, we haven't used this yet. Blah, blah, blah. This is the title gargoyle. Wow, that looks really worky. <laughs> it does. He he doesn't get out much. But now we can go water knock at her. I accidentally used a potion. No! Fuck! <laughs> that was the it's, ginseng, too. It's I'm weird sure. because the button is so close to the other ones. Like, it's, yep. it's hard not to fucking hit it. Just unequip it. Just take it out of that slot. I don't think you can. Can you, like... You can't. Like, you have to have something in that slot. Like, you select it. But I got a new potion bottle. There it is. Right there. <laughs> I did it. Now we have four of them. Woo! With not a cent to burn. Well, I don't even need health anyway, but... Uh, you're doing okay right now. Uh, can I climb walls with this? I sure hope I can. You sure can't. No. How the hell are you supposed to get out? Then I do this, and then this, and then dead. <laughs> and then, then be dead. Uh, can we though? <laughs> yes, I like that option. Fuck, I, I, why am I picking this option? <laughs> there's no, it's new when you have to. Yeah, there's no like on land thing to do. What I'm gonna do, check this out. I hate you! Oh, that, oh that's, that's cool. That's where I want to go. I don't. That's not cool at all. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. Oh shit. See, you gotta you gotta have an active mind playing this game. Ooh, that's something I'm lacking. <laughs> is this not where I want to be? <laughs> I thought this is this spot. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. There's a thing that I wanted to do down here. Oh, without my walkthrough, I'm useless. Maybe it's over here. Come walk through, I'm useless. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Used to call me on my walk through. Dun, dun. <laughs> oh. is, it, is it in this one? No, you went here first. There's yeah. nothing. Well, there's a wall here, right? I can't. Yeah. God damn it. All right. I don't even care. Fuck it. I'm sure it was a thing that was not important. It was probably really important. Look, we look, need it. But look at the town in the background. Like, that's... That's the attention to detail this game has. It's so friggin' cool, man. 
Can you imagine how much, how many gargoyle pennies it would have taken to make this game? To, to build this architecture? Yeah. Architecture. <laughs> I can touch it. It's tangible. It's a texture. Don't go that way. Nope. This is where I want to go. Oh, no. Believe in me like I believe in you. Okay. Uh, also, I'm an idiot. Are we going to swim on land? I plan on it. We're in the mountains now. Woo! These fucking guys. See? Like, it doesn't hit them from the front, but they're party from the back. Yeah, it's because they're naked in the back. <laughs> Oh, my demon. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's let's be smart here, folks. Let's be a better man. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna what walk. Was that? I'm just gonna walk through and hope for the best. Walk through, but you don't have your walk through. I know. What? But we're getting money, which is nice. I think we need it because someone's using all our potions. Are you gonna high road me, <laughs> Mrs. Use the fucking potion the first second I gave her the controller? Remember that? Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. yeah I wish that was you. Comes running back. That was also you. Also, we both did it once. <laughs> so we're equies. So if you do it, yeah, we're equies. If you do it one more time, though, that makes you the worst. Is that... Okay. So, yeah. Next area. <laughs> Onward and upward. Right here. Woo! Well, it looks like the elephant graveyard. It, oh, that's so weird that they, like, do that. Like, they're just like, I'm gonna go over here and die. <laughs> Elephants are weird. <laughs> Is that actually a thing, or is that just a Lion King thing? <laughs> a Lion King thing is also a solid name for a band of like that pays tribute to the Lion King. The Lion King. I I, I don't know. Is, is that not? Don't elephants like all go to the same place to die? I thought that was like a, like a, a well known fact about elephants. I honestly don't know that fact. But let's go ahead and educate our viewers. I would say. All right. Let's say. Is it a Lion King thing or a real time thing? I'm pretty sure it's a Lion King. Yeah, fan. like it, like it was just a plot device for reasons. <laughs> All the questions are like elephant graveyards. Do they exist? Ooh. Also, graveyard implies that they have a grave. <laughs> like they don't. So, they might though. Elephants are really like emotionally yeah. developed. Like they have very strong attachments. Like they're, I don't know. Have you ever seen the videos with like where one dies and like? Yeah, yeah. They like they literally mourn it. Yeah, like it's the saddest goddamn thing. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and, and level with you here, Chelsea. I'm lost. <laughs> I I took a wrong turn and oh shit. That's. So is it is it real or what? I don't know, this one guy is just talking a lot about this one really sick elephant, and it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not getting any information, I'm just getting more sad. Yeah. I mean, I'm literally looking up an elephant graveyard. Oh. Is it sad? It sounds sad. Okay, no, there isn't really a graveyard. No. Um, well, according to Wikipedia. So. Uh, it just says, uh, an elephant's graveyard um, is a place where, according to legend, older elephants instinctually direct themselves when they reach a certain age. They then die there alone, far from the group. So maybe. So they just like they do that, but they don't all go to the same spot. Yeah, several theories are given about the myth's origin. One theory involves people finding groups of elephant skeletons together, or observing old elephants and skeletons in the same habitat. Okay. Um, so maybe it's more of like a like a, this could exist, but we probably. can't confirm it. Yeah. Uh, also, putting another boss. <laughs> I was concerned I wasn't going to find this boss because I didn't really know the fuck I was going, but I found him. Uh, and good thing is I have enough potions to potentially- What the fuck is that? I looked away from, my, from the screen for a minute. Eh. Fly, you fool! Yeah. Oh, oh, biggest controversy ever. <laughs> there's a- uh, what, what was I playing that- Oh, there's a- uh, there's a- there's a trophy in- in uh, fucking- what game is it called? Uh, Shadow of Mordor. It's called Fly, You Fool. Aww. Yeah, it's like, cause everyone. Okay, okay, yeah, he's two parts. I remember now. He's just a body, and then, a, then a, a. What does he do? Is he just gonna do a thing? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you can just walk under him. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! You, you, you! This is so gross. <laughs> it's a bad touch. Oh, he does no damage. This thing's a fucking puss. Okay. Really? Shut up. <laughs> Support. Do you, ever, do you ever notice that when you insult things, they get more angry and mean? <laughs> Support me. I'm trying to support you, but you're making you, it really hard for being dumb. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I got him. Really? Shh. You, look at him. You look how red he is. Dead. Dead. That was so much easier than the guy. What? God damn it. What? Hey, make sure the second row, though. I know. Well, there was another one in here. I thought that was going to give me a talisman or something. No, he was not a real boss. <sighs> well, we're going to go back in here. 
Because I know the thing I need is in here. I did a thing, but that wasn't the thing I wanted to do. Okay, so what was the thing that you wanted to do? We're looking for another talisman. We're looking for the hand talisman, because I'm like, give him my hand. Is it just, like, will turn us to a big, like, turkey? That's so funny. <laughs> like a kid's drawing of a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Can that please be what it is? Somebody, if you're going to make fan art, please make Demon's Crest fan art, but just hand art. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just everything. <sighs> oh, any fucking pod fiction art that you do, just, just make it a hand. Make it a hand, please. And Bona, Michael will be so confused. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's without the hand, he's fucking confused. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> lovable misfit. I don't. The thing is, like, yeah, he's, we, he's funny. He's cute. We always like try and like decide, like, we'll pick like a famous duo. Like, for example, Troy and Abed. So, like, okay, who's yeah. who's who? But I'm like, with Troy and Abed, it's a really hard fucking pick because we're both not like Troy and Abed. No, you're not. <laughs> like, you're both pretty creative, um, but you are, well, he'd probably be more slightly more like Abed. See, because I, you're more social. I, yeah, I gave him Abed, too. Like, I was like, yeah. I would more most likely be Troy, but not yeah. because, like, I'm like I'm not jockey in any reference. No, not even a little. I mean, like, I work out. You do work out, but so does but, he. Yeah, but that doesn't make me a jock. Like, no. I never, can. I never, uh, like, akin my working out to being, like, a jock. Like, I do it so that I, you know, don't die early. Yeah, and you like it. Yeah, it's, it's, is this the one I want? Yeah, it's the one I want. This is the door where I wanted to go. This is where I thought we were going to go before, and then we never went here. There we go, and, uh, oh, I can, I can break it with this one. Sweet! And in I go. And then there should be just in here, I think. Did I? Fly? Did I already get this? Oh, it's, it's right we here. Didn't, we didn't go in here. This is the thing that I got off screen. Damn it. Yeah, I got it. Damn it! Okay, well now I don't know where to go. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna go back to the water level. That's where we're gonna go. Because that's where we need to go. Uh, no! You know where we're gonna go? The tower. Remember that little water spot? And I was like, don't go in there yet. Yeah! Yeah! Now, now we got the thing. We can go there. So that's where we're gonna go. Dope. Let's do that. That's, that's what I mean about this game. Like, you're always going somewhere that you've been before. So you gotta, like, pay attention to detail. And, honestly, most people may think that's fucking stupid and annoying. I can't argue with that. That's, that's a pretty justified means. But, uh, I think it's adorable. Yeah, no, it just adds layers to a game, really. And it's a good way for the game developers to get out of having to make more levels. Yeah. Like, they just add stages to the... Like, you have, like, five levels, yeah. and they just add different elements to Cap it. Capcom's always been like that, though. Like, Capcom always... Was it the water level that that was in, or was it Towers of Towers? Towers. Um, but I think this there's a, a thing that you can do here. I don't... Where is it? No. Is it this? Is it one of the triggers? There's a, there's a way to bring up... A, there it is. See? You can bring up a map. And it shows you what levels yeah, there are. there we go. Um, Ooh, should we go to five? <laughs> that's the ice one. That's where we got fucking riggedy riggedy wrecked, son. Oh, let's not do that. Uh, the towers are over here. God damn it. Where are they? They're just hanging out. I know they're here somewhere. I'm looping. Go the other way. Here it is. <laughs> Woo! Oh, one of my favorite lines is Lucille said in in, uh, in Arrested Development. Lucille says to Lupe, she's like, that sweater's not a take-home, Lupe. It's like, oh, that's <laughs> fucked. You're a cold woman. She so is, but that's... Uh, it's so she's good. such a good actor, too. She is, honestly. Um, she, she, have you seen Archer? I'm yes! Sure she, she's Archer's mom, right? Yes, yeah, she absolutely is. Yeah. <laughs> she 100% is. And the best part is she plays the exact same character in Archer. Yeah, she is actually, and she looks like like she looks like her. Yeah, she has more gray hair. Um, I don't know. I really like Archer. I haven't watched much of it, but like I've watched like the first season or two. Yeah, I love Archer. Archer, I, I didn't want this, but now it kind of worked really hard for it, so now it's mine. Yeah, uh, Archer's fun. I love Archer. Archer's only, I think really I've only cool. seen the up to Archer Vice, which I think is season four, and then like a few episodes of season five, and that's that's all I've watched. I don't. I have a bad habit of really liking shows, but then I won't s stick around once I've finished where they're up to. Yeah, it was pretty much me, like me with Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Like, when I first started watching it, um, they only had three seasons out. So I watched all three seasons, and like, I think I rewatched them. And then you just don't go back to it, because like, I've got yeah. other shit to watch. Yeah, exactly. But oh, Bob's Burgers is so good. <laughs> I've never watched Bob's Burgers, but I know it's a really good show. It's so fucking good. If it was on Netflix, It makes I me... I, exactly. Yeah. The reason why I, I watched it was because I may have had something that rhymes with Sherm... American Schmeckler. <laughs> well, no one knows we're not in the States. We could live in the States. Yeah, we could. But we don't. <laughs> oh, that, was that in here? Where was that level? That's not even in here. Where was the water thing I told you not to go to? I thought it was in the tower. So did I. It's not in here. What's, what's this? Are we fighting this thing again? Oh, this is the only boss in the game that I can think of that actually comes back once you beat him. He's a different color, though. Yeah, he, he just gives us health. Remember when we fought him last time? He just gave us full health. Like, woot. 
He didn't even like give us a health piece. It was like the most. Oh yeah, it was such a pointless piece of shit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I've really, that's the thing. I would have. I've only. I've never watched it because it's just not on Netflix, and that's. Yeah. It seems super easy yeah. though. No, it's not on Netflix, which is super. I hate that. Like, I get that there are certain licenses that you can have to have it in the states or just having it in Canada. Yeah. But that's like a physical copy of something. These are digital copies. There, yeah. should, there has to be different rules that apply. There has to be. There's no reason that there should. And 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 the thing and is, they're putting up board like digital borders for things. It doesn't. I it's just very frustrating. You know what I really liked as well, and I think I may have mentioned this on the show at some point in my life was Show Me. Yes! Oh my god! So yeah, Christine had Show Me, and I was just about to get it when they announced that they were fucking getting rid of it. Yeah. It was so annoying, because there were a lot of shows on there that I wanted to watch. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia was on there. It's like the only That's... Reason. Yeah, I wanted to watch It's Always Sunny, and they had Parks and Rec, I think, too. I yeah, they did. Watch. Honestly, It's Always Sunny is probably one of my top five favorite comedy shows of all time. I really want to watch it. I, I put it on the same pedestal as Arrested Development, quite really? honestly. It's such a good show. It's so... It's basically like dark... It's, it's like dark humor Seinfeld. And Seinfeld's dark humor, Seinfeld. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Remember this plot? This spot? Oh god. Pretty. Okay, this is just this has been the episode of just wandering around looking for shit to do. Okay, let's go back to the water spot. I, I apologize. We can, for what? You well, it's not my fault. Oh. oh you're, okay, I, I got gotcha. you. <sighs> it must have been in here. Wait, where, where is that going? Oh, it's the Doug theme song. That was another show that I never got like the chance to watch because I was just too young. But yeah, this is where it comes interest. It becomes interesting for me and Christine, like to see like where the generational like gaps and divides are. Because you're not much older than Christine, like what three, four years? Or, oh, oh, sorry, um, Christine's a year younger than me, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's. There's like five years between us. Yeah. So that's a decent chunk of time, right? Like, with for her age, like, High School Musical was like a thing. Like, it I, was yeah. capital A, capital T, like, a thing. And whereas for me, that kind of passed me by. But, like, when it comes to, like, That's So Raven, Lizzie McGuire, um, a lot of YTV stuff, like, like MTV video, like, MTV, sorry, vi um, much music, like, video on trial and stuff. Like, there are certain things that we sh Ooh. This was, this is where it was. Okay. I think it was somewhere. I don't know. It's just interesting to see just like the difference that five years makes. I've I've like I I've been on record saying this before on the show. I never had cable as a kid, so I never got to like watch shows like that. So like yeah. anything family, like everyone's all like jizzing over that's What 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 the fuck is the point of this? Why did I come here? <laughs> There's Probably nothing. It's an alternate entrance, maybe. Uh, everyone's all like even Stevens, right? And I'm like I've yeah, all I've, even Stevens. I've never seen the show. Like, and it's not because I, I don't like it. I've just. If I was to watch it now, it wouldn't really be this. And like, for example, no, it wouldn't be this. Same. Like, I, I, it's those kind of shows that like influencers a kid, right? Like to enjoy. Oh, absolutely. But like, I don't know. In my mind, I fuck. I hate this level so much. It's so hard not to hit these things. Um, in my mind, it, it, I got the chance to play more video games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, you did. Uh, which I don't, I don't discredit myself for. Like, I love that. Like, honestly, to me, like, I, I remember, but here's a good fun fact for you. One of my favorite games, and I'll, oh my god, if next to this game, my next favorite game of all time is Legend of Dragoon, uh, which is a, a, a JRPG for the, ah, oh, god damn it, for the, for the PlayStation 1. Fucking, ah! Right, I'm gonna have to use a fucking potion. Oh, I only have herb potion! Lame. Um, but I, I just remember I was walking outside of my house once and I found this like old abandoned chair. Fucking are you serious right now? I found this old abandoned chair and I'm like, I'm taking that chair home. And I, that's the chair I sat and played all of Legend of Dragoon in. But Aww. when I first got my PlayStation, which was like in 2005, which was super late into the PlayStation's cycle. Yeah. Um, okay, this is a bad touch. Uh, and, and I remember my mom like brought me to a hawk shop. She's like, "What game do you want?" And I saw it's just like those big thick cases, right? Because it had like a like it had more than one disc. Yeah. Um, but disc one was so fucking scratched that like it wouldn't play the game. Like when when you were like, so it was a turn based like RPG. So yeah. when you're in battle, like you'd pick your move and you'd have to wait for the game to load. That's how delayed the game was because of the scratches. Okay. So I remember I would like pick my attack, go to school. And come back, and it would still be loading, and I'd sit there just in front of it, like, playing my Game Boy or something, until it would, like, make the move. And it took me months to... Oh, this is a fucking boss fight. God damn it, this is a boss fight! I am ill-prepared for this. Yeah, we have no potions. Not even an herb. Is there a second section? God damn it. Um, but yeah, I just remember, like, 
that game, I've never done that with a game where like I've put that much time into a game. It, I played it so much that the timer read nine 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 nine. Like I I I couldn't have played it anymore. Like it doesn't record my time. Do you um, have it now? Like, oh, a I non scratch copy? Yep, I, I rebought it. I bought a new version of it. So I've never even heard of this game. It's amazing. Um, the version that I have now has different discs than the one that I had when I was a kid. Uh, the one that I had when I was a kid, they were full, like, on... So there's main characters in the game. It's a it's a well-written game. If I knew I could find someone who wanted to play that game with me as much as I loved that game, I'd play on the show. It's a long game. Um, but th what makes the game so... This thing is just pissing me off. What makes the game so cool is that you get your, like, your attack, right? Like, you're without any kind of, like, match or anything like that. You can pick uh, your attack. Um, and as you level up, you get different attacks. And as you level up, you can level up those attacks. Kind of like in Final Fantasy VII with, like, limit breaks and stuff. Okay. Um, but what makes it cool is that the, what it, it does is, like, you push, like, X, X. But it's, like, rhythm-based, kind of, where, like, each attack has a different set of, like, rhythms. So you have to, like, learn the timing of them. So your weak ones, uh, once you level them up enough, can do a lot of damage. But the stronger ones have more hits. So if you level those ones up, they end up being way stronger. But they have more intricate patterns. It's one of those games that, like, if you didn't play it as a kid, you might not like it as an adult. Because it's really, like, the graphics aren't the best. Um, Honestly, it's not the type, the type of a game that if you play when you're younger, it would be, like, a precursor to you liking Dark Souls as an adult. Oh, fuck. This game is a <laughs> precursor to Dark Souls, man. With the bosses in this game, it's yeah. nuts. And you gotta juke these fucking fish out so they come towards you. And you gotta... Oh, my God. The worst part is, you know what's behind this section? A, a boss. boss. What? There's... Oh! You can't even... Mm. All right, next time on Pod Fiction, we'll beat this stupid. We'll eventually do something at some point <laughs> in this game. It's just the perpetual cycle of nothing. Right. Or, or do you mean my life? <laughs> <laughs>